So there are a lot of guides out there on how to update your NVIDIA driver, but not a lot of them go into detail on how to update it, how to check what version you got, or what graphics card it is for. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your NVIDIA graphics in 2022. So let's go. To get started updating your NVIDIA GeForce RTX or GTX drivers, first you need to find out what graphics card you have. Some of you might already know what you got, but you can always right click your start button, go to device manager, then go to display adapters, and then you can check which graphics card you have so you can update your drivers. I have an NVIDIA RTX 3060 laptop GPU. Now this laptop part is important because there is a desktop 3060 as well. So leave this open. Also, you can double click on it to find out your current driver version. Go to driver and then this is the driver version you have. So 512.59, although it is represented like this, but the last five digits is what your driver version is. And you can identify that if it's the latest or not. You can see the date here as well, 20th of April, 2022. That's fairly recent, so I doubt there will be a new update, but I'm going to show you how to check. Best practice for driver updates I've done on my PC is just to have a bookmark like this. You can see it says SD because I prefer the studio driver because I edit a lot of videos for YouTube and I want stability in DaVinci Resolve and other productivity apps. But if you want to update your driver for gaming, you can still do that. So just click here. What you can do here and on your keyboard, you can press Control D. It'll bring up this. And then you can type in whatever you want, the name and press done. And then it will show up in your bookmarks bar. If you have too many bookmarks, you might see a couple of arrows here. You can click and drag it to wherever you want. If I want it out front, I can have it here. It will save all your previous settings so you don't have to click on a lot of things. For this example, you can see it's all pre-filled with GeForce. If not, you just select GeForce. All gaming cards are GeForce, even the RTX ones. These RTX Quadro ones are all commercial grade, so most of you guys probably not looking for that GeForce and then you can select whether you have RTX 30 series notebook or 30 series desktop same thing with 20 10 16 series all of that you have options for both once you find your series ours is a 30 series notebook and you select your GPU select the GPU and then download type is very important if you do a lot of gaming, you select the game ready driver that will give you the best performance on the latest game but if you're like me you like Studio Driver, more stability in your productivity apps, such as DaVinci Resolve, click on Studio Driver. Then select your language, by default it's English. Select your operating system, I'm on Windows 11, you can choose either of these, and then hit search. Now you can see we have a download, Just download the file quickly, click download again, give it a few moments to finish the download. One thing I forgot to mention is the driver version, you can see 51296 is written here. If you open our device manager again and double click the thing, you can see I'm already running 51259. So there has been an update 51296. So this will change to 51296 once I update it. With Nvidia Studio Driver, I've seen monthly updates. With GeForce drivers like Game Ready ones, they get updated more frequently because new games keep on releasing. This driver has been optimized for latest DaVinci Resolve 18, Adobe Substance Modular Beta. Topaz Labs, Gigapixel AI, and other apps. One thing about NVIDIA cards is that you get good quality driver support, especially the studio drivers for stability. And there you go, our file is downloaded. I'm just going to open it and close the browser. Click on OK. Let it extract the files. And there you go, it says NVIDIA graphics driver. And this is the most important step. By default, it will install graphics driver and GeForce Experience. And I definitely do not recommend installing GeForce Experience because it's not only a performance hog, most of the time it just creates a lot of problems in games because of its annoying overlay. You don't want that. So we're just going to select the second option and agree and continue. Now here you can go custom if you want to tweak the installation and do a clean install. If you're updating from a really old driver, go to custom and make sure you click on this button. This will completely remove the previous driver in order to avoid conflict with the brand new driver. If you're updating from a fairly recent driver, you can do a typical express installation. What I always do is just go to custom verify that the GeForce experience is not checked because in the past it has happened where Nvidia said they're not going to install GeForce experience and they force it in. <laughs> so I always prefer this option, press next 
and watch it install. It's gonna take a few moments. And there you go, the graphics driver is now updated and installed. The HD audio driver has also been installed. You can close this window. Now Nvidia does not recommend you restart your system, but you can do it. Go to your start again, right click, device manager, display adapters and you can check and you can see there is a new date now 19th of May 2022 which is more recent you can check the last five digits which is 51296 now I know there's a lot of guides out there on how to update your Nvidia driver but not all of them go into this much detail on how to check your current driver version date and how to update and or clean install your driver and that's it done driver updated there you have it guys that's how you install the latest driver whether you want to get the maximum FPS or you want to get the maximum stability on your productivity apps. Either way, you'll get the best from Nvidia and please, please, please do not install GeForce Experience in my opinion because I have had the worst unexpected stuff happen and you would think it's something else but when you uninstall GeForce Experience everything magically disappears and also it requires to sign in with an email account to update your driver which is unnecessary in my opinion with that smash that like button if this video helped you upgrade your drivers consider subscribing and ding that notification bell just down there check out my other videos right up there and thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one Cheers.